Let's take a look at what we are going to deal with in section 1 of chapter 2. This lecture will give you an overview of the topics we will start on next. The first thing we will study is development and testing. What is the relationship between the development model and the testing model? Then we see the sequential development model. How this type of model will be implemented. After that, we will study the incremental development model. And finally, we will look at the iterative development model. So these are the four models we will study under this section. But before we start on them, we have to keep a few things in mind. The first thing to keep in mind is, there are different life cycle models. So for any given project, you can choose from any of the four models we mentioned before. The next point is that each model has different stages. This is why we have different models. Each of them has stages that are unique to them. But why do we have these different stages? Because each stage has different test objectives. Also, each model has different testing approach. So now let's put all of them together. There are different life cycle models. How are they different? They each have different stages. Why are they different? Each stage has different test objectives. And to achieve these objectives, each model has a different testing approach. Okay, there is one final point. Why do we have these different stages? They describe types of activities to be performed at each stage. So, if you have five stages, every stage defines what type of testing activity needs to be done. This is why we have different stages. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Happy testing.